Say, here they are. Ted has just seen one of the many kinds of bacteria. Bacteria are found almost everywhere in our environment. Bacteria is everywhere. The tiny organisms come in many forms, some that keep us healthy, and others that infect us with all kinds of diseases. We use antibiotics to kill bacteria. But with the overuse of these drugs over time, some bacteria have evolved, producing new enzymes that help them survive an antibiotic attack. Hundreds of thousands of people die each year because their infections are resistant to the antibiotics that used to work. Scientists have invented newer classes of antibiotics, but prescribing those unnecessarily helped make the problem worse. With each new antibiotic, bacteria quickly became resistant. Doctors can use a test to check whether a patient's infection is resistant to an antibiotic, but the test can take several days and need special equipment. So when that's too inconvenient, they'll often just fall back on prescribing the stronger drug. Now a team at Berkeley has come up with a solution. Hi Tara. Hi. You invented a test called DETECT. What does it do? Uh, DETECT is a simple test that um, helps doctors treat bacterial infections. So tell me how it works. We're going after urinary tract infections first. That's our first target um, because it's the most uh, abundant bacterial infection around the world. So we would typically have a urine sample that was given to a doctor, but today um, we're just going to be um, using these synthetic urine samples. Um, one that was prepared with a bacteria that actually is resistant to um, an antibiotic, and the other one that is negative and has a bacteria that would be able to be treated with an antibiotic. We just take this synthetic urine and we add it to our detect solution. You just mix it, that's Just all. mix it, that's it. And then we just kind of give them a little shake and then we let them sit on the lab bench. Detect is built with a bit of antibiotic in it. If the bacteria is able to destroy the antibiotic, Detect will recognize the remnants of that battle. And in five minutes we'll have a color change. Of course, if it's positive, it does tell you that there is a resistant um, bacterial infection that's, that's happening. However, if it's negative, it's great because then a doctor can really treat with this lower generation antibiotic um, and sparing the use of alternatives. The hope is that we are developing a test that could be used all around the world um, that does not take any type of instrumentation or doesn't require electricity, really. So the fact that this, this test is really just a color changing, a visual detection, um, and you can know exactly how to treat a patient, will really help decrease the inappropriate use and the overuse of antibiotics. The next version of DETECT will change to a red color instead of yellow to make it easier to see, and it should be available to doctors in a few years.